How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to set up your email address on the new Kindle Fire HD. And basically what you're going to do is go to apps and you want to find where it says email. It comes with the email app now so it's really simple to go ahead and connect your email address. So now you're going to be on the add account page and so you want to pick the one that corresponds with your email. So uh, I'm going to do my H2 Tech video, so I'm going to go Gmail. It'll have your name here. You'll type in your email address here. Mine is H2 Tech Videos at gmail.com. And then here you put your password in. I'm going to go ahead and block it if you don't mind. Kind of keep my password hidden, and that is let's keep going here. Let's go hide password, and now for a description, I always type my email address for the description. I don't because they usually will just say Gmail. I'll type in the actual description because then if you have multiple accounts on there, you can actually see which accounts are which. So H2 Tech Videos, and now we're gonna go ahead and hit next. And what it'll do is it'll connect and perfect. We're all synced up here, and you have the option to sync your contacts and your calendar. So if you use your calendar. Uh, already you can actually sync up any dates you already have with the calendar on the Kindle Fire as well as any contacts you have saved you can also sync those as well so it's easier to email people go ahead and hit save it'll save the account and then now we can go to view inbox and there it is up here it says H2 Tech Videos that's why if you name it, it'll say your email address here. If not, it'll just say Gmail. And now these are some of the emails I have from my H2 Tech and from, from YouTube. So if you want to read an email, you just go ahead and just tap on it anywhere in there. And this one is saying, hey, so-and-so has subscribed to my channel. Awesome. And it'll show you the message down here. Okay. Now what you can do is you can delete it from here by pressing delete. You can also hit respond. And then you can reply to reply back to that person, reply all if multiple people sent you, or you can forward it. Okay. Uh, also, this is what I really like about it too. If you turn it sideways, there's a really nice interface where you can actually see your emails right here, and then you can also read the email right here. And um, again, they made it really simple to just delete your emails and get a little bit closer here. You can literally just, you know, delete and it's gone. It doesn't ask you, are you sure, which I kind of like. And then we can kind of go up some more here. So let's say I tap that one. I want to delete that one. You can also go back to your, your uh, main page. And now you can actually hit show folders. And you have access to all your, your folders too. So you can see your drafts, your sent mail, your trash. If you have special folders created for that email, you can see them right here. Even you have your trash can. I just deleted those two emails and so maybe, you know, oops, I didn't mean to delete them. I can actually find it back here and I can still pull up the email. Okay? So really nice email uh, app. And if you want to send a new email, you just tap new in the corner right here and then type in the person's name or if you hit plus it'll actually pull up who's in your um, who's in your contacts. So I'm going to go ahead and go back put in your subject then you want to type in your message and then you hit send and you're done okay so this is the email app on the Kindle Fire HD and this has been how to set up your email account you can have multiple emails and that's the cool part if you want to add another email you'll just go to menu right here Go down to settings, and then you will just tap add account, and then you can add another one. I've, I've only put two on here. I have about eight or nine, so hopefully it lets me add a whole bunch. But this is how you do it. Pretty simple process. And I want to show you one last thing because um, your email is set up, but if people email you, you won't necessarily see them as a notification. So I'm going to show you how to set it up so that when someone emails you, your Kindle Fire will let you know. Okay, what you're going to do is pull down your menu here and go to more and you want to come down to applications.
and then you want to go to notification settings and you want to go all the way down to email which is right here notice email is on for me because I turned it on but when you when you normally set up your Kindle this is turned off so the benefit of this is when somebody emails you you can make it so that it'll show up right here as a notification it'll let you know when someone has sent you something so make sure it'll normally be off you want to turn this on okay it'll just make it a little bit easier and um that's about it and let's see is there anything else let's go back one one more thing here if you go down to email contacts and calendar right here and you go to that email account so we have h2 tech tap here you can also set how often your kindle fire looks for new emails so maybe if you're expecting some important emails maybe you do a lot of stuff for work your church or or whatever you need to have quick access to your email if you tap on inbox check frequency uh, I have mine set for 15 minutes you can have yours set to auto push and what auto push does is literally immediately as soon as it's sent it's at your Kindle okay if you don't get emails a lot and it's not a big deal but you still want to look at them on there I would set it to every hour now keep in mind if it sets to auto push then your battery will drain faster so just keep that in mind kind of on the back end uh, there's pros and cons to it all right so we're going to hit cancel there we're going to go home and this has been how to set up your email on the kindle fire hd all right hope you found this helpful if you did make sure you like the video subscribe to h2 tech videos and keep watching all right have a good one